After the eclipse, we sailed into the sunset, headed on a 24-hour crossing to Indonesia. In the middle of the afternoon, we arrived at Paddar Island. Our goal was to climb, starting from the beach, all the way to the top where there is one big tree, 2 kilometers away, and 200 meters higher. We were dropped off on the beach and started the climb up. Railings and stairs were in wonderful shape, since Paddar is part of the Komodo National Park. As we climbed, there were overlooks where you could rest and enjoy the views. As you climbed, you started to see the entire island unfold below you. When you reached the top, we were rewarded with a larger-than-life view of the most mesmerizing panorama we have ever seen. Paddar Island has three beaches, each a different color of sand, white, black, and pink. The combination of the terrain, the beaches and sea make it one of the most captured travel photos in the world. We headed back down to the beach, going against the flow of crowds of tourists that had arrived later in the afternoon. We returned to the beach to find a chaotic mess of boats, many stuck due to the now low tide. We finally returned to the ship at sunset to witness the first crescent of the moon after the eclipse and to capture the Milky Way over Komodo from the deck of the ship. The next morning we visited Komodo Island, a return visit for us. We were pleased to discover that the critically endangered yellow cockatoos were flourishing, but it seemed there were fewer dragons. The ones we saw were not a disappointment. We walked around the island looking for birds, and the scenic Kodak moment stops for photos. Now near midday, we were taken over to Pink Beach, named for the rose-colored coral sand. We stayed about an hour or so, snorkeling in one of the nicer coral reefs we had seen in a while, then headed back to the ship to sail to Flores Island.